So uh, Rafal and I jumped on the Arizona BDR. Um, we got a rocky road. And now we are uh, on the Arizona BDR, which is quite kind of rocky, rocky road. So yeah, we're uh, we're just on the Arizona BDR. We're gonna ride for a while and find a place to camp. It's a uh, a really cool section of the Arizona BDR because it doesn't really look anything like what you would expect Arizona to look like. I mean, dirt roads and not sandy roads, but uh, you know, we just actually passed through a forest. Um, so we're getting like a nice variety of uh, terrain to look at. Headed into this uh, national forest, I forget the name of it, but it's like uh, organic, uh, organic, <laughs> volcanic uh, rock sand. It's all black. Rafael and I are going to find a place to camp up here, hopefully. Pretty crazy up here. I guess looks like there was a fire at some point. Sand's getting pretty thick. So, what do you got? Black sand is pretty pretty deep. Well, I would say if I'm if I rest yesterday don't drink alcohol and this stuff I, I'm, I'm, uh, today I'm like irritated
Oh boy. Okay, I'll push. Uh, is it in? Is it in gear? Yeah, but I there's a clutch. <laughs> One more time. Just push back. You can keep coming back. And we're going to the right. Right back, yeah. You want to go back farther? Good. One more. Okay. A bit more than I here. Sure. Nice job. I ain't getting stuck. Woo! So goddamn out of shape though. It really sucks. Gotta like commit myself to doing those, you know, daily exercises. Just you gotta do it. It's so hard to motivate myself to do it. That's why I like going to the Muay Thai gym or going to Jiu Jitsu doesn't really feel like you're exercising, it feels like you're doing an activity. Whereas if I'm going to try to wake up every day and do shit, it's going to be a pain in the ass. There's your fall. It's really cool though. Cool riding on this volcanic sand. You kind of have to make a choice when you're going through sand like this. You either go slow, like 10 miles an hour, or you go like 30 and try to like rise above the sand. We're going 10, which is fine. It's just, it's more, it's safer, but actually less stable. It'd be more stable if we were going faster, but, you know, you could lay the bike down pretty easily and stuff like this, so, 
It's still beautiful up here. Oh, Rafal, Rafal, Rafal. Got deep. You can see where it just like gets deep. You can lose the bike. I think a lot of four wheelers and side by sides come up here. There's plenty of tracks. I think we're only like three miles from the road, so we're gonna look for like a different place to camp. Just, uh, it was cool to come up here and we were thinking about camping up here, but just wasn't really digging the vibe. So we decided to go back down the other side of the, to the other road, see if we can find something. So I was kind of dragging ass today, man. I was just like, I drank too much alcohol last night, basically what it boils down to. I wasn't hung over today. I was just tired. I slept like shit. Because I drank too much alcohol, I was just in a really good mood, and I was hanging out with Polish witches, and, you know, when you're hanging out with a Polish witch and she wants to drink, you can't say no, so I ended up drinking a lot, and uh, I was just kind of dragging ass all day today, and then just just wasn't vibing, and then we, then we got on the Arizona BDR, and it was just like cabbage, cabbage rock city, it was just like fucking hour and a half of just working getting worked over by cabbage heads on the road it's just uh, I think Rafal was pretty pretty fed up with it too just just kind of tired of it and then we finished it stopped and got an ice cream and then came up here and then you know just dealing with this sand which you know this isn't like a problem it's just so we're we we're really what I wanted was a nice easy day it would have been and that's i think what we were kind of going for was like oh let's just jump on the bdr and we'll we'll just do this one little section and then we'll find a place to camp up in this national forest and the section turned out to be really hard and the national forest kind of turned out to be a little bit of a bust so the whole day has kind of been kind of being busted out but we'll rally we'll rally when we, when we find the road find a decent place to camp Look at what? What do we got? River? Yep. Got a river? Yep. An alligator. <laughs> Polish alligator? No, 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 no. <laughs> Those are even worse. Oh, it's deep. I really don't know. So you've, Actually, you've got about to... four inches in. <laughs> I'll just see my feet. <laughs> okay, that was just the dirty part of me. Okay, you got it. Well, when you stay for some time, it's already... It gets more agreeable. Uh, okay. In that, case, the, in that case, the probably the best thing to do is just jump in and get your whole body wet and then you'll be used to it after a few seconds. You should try it. Show me. <laughs> Show me this. 